Hello buddies. Today we are going to learn how to make this jellyfish water bottle, the science behind it, and some jellyfish racks. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is make sure that you have all these materials. So this experiment is supposed to be made with your parents. So have your parent cut a part of the straw that is two to three inches long, and this is going to be a part of the jellyfish of our bottle. Now what the student's gonna do is bend the straw in half and start bending one of the paper clips like shown on the screen into a V shape. So you can stick each of these ends into each side of the folded straw. And this is how the final product of those last two steps should look like. And this next step is supposed to be done by the student where you're gonna just put on the other paper clip and link it onto the one that's connected to this straw. So now this part is to test our diver before actually putting it into the water bottle. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop our diver into the cup of water and we're, and we're going to see if it just barely stays afloat. This is how your diver should look like when it's dropped into the water. I forgot to mention this, but if your testing did not work out, you could try taking off the second paper clip like I did or bend around with the first one because I know that these paper clips are pretty big. I also forgot to film the last step. So you're gonna have a parent fill up the water bottle for you and then you're gonna drop in the diver and either put the craft eyes on the water bottle itself or on the diver if you like. And while you're finishing up these last few steps, let's learn a little bit more about the jellyfish that inspired this project. Did you know that jellyfish don't have a brain, heart, eyes, bones, or lungs? They actually absorb oxygen through their skin. Most jellyfish are see-through or transparent. Some even make their own light like the one shown in this picture. Groups of jellyfish can be called a bloom, swarm, or smack. Jellyfish have been around for millions of years. They're even older than dinosaurs. Although it's in the name, jellyfish aren't actually fish. They're a type of plankton. They eat crabs, fish, shrimp, and plants, and can be found in every single ocean in the world, both cold and warm water. Jellyfish are most known for their stinging tentacles. Their tentacles contain millions of small stinging cells that release toxin into their prey. Here's a picture of the box jellyfish, which is the deadliest animal in the entire world. And after doing all the steps, this is how the final product should look like. Now you may be wondering, why does this experiment work the way it does? And the answer is actually quite simple, and it mostly relies on the straw part of our contraption. Basically, when the straw is floating and you squeeze the water bottle, you're forcing air into the straw, which compresses the air and makes it more dense inside of the straw, forcing it to sink to the bottom. But when you let go, then you're releasing all that water that's inside of the straw, just letting it float back to the top. 